Welcome to this PALMS demonstration video about chemical weathering. We are going to look at how acid rain affects rocks like limestone and marble. For this experiment, you need two pieces of limestone. If you don't have limestone, little pieces of cement can be used as they are partly made from limestone. You need two clear cups or jars, white vinegar, which is an acid, water, and a marking pen. Label the cups V for vinegar and W for water. We've sped things up to make the experiment go more quickly. Place the rocks in the cups and then add water to the W cup and vinegar to the V cup. The cup with water is our control. This allows us to see if acid affects rock differently than water does. Observe the rocks in each cup. What do you notice? This limestone has clay in it, which gives it a yellow brown color. There are also bits of fossil bone that are white. When acid reacts with limestone, it releases carbon dioxide gas. Can you see signs of this chemical reaction? Leave the experiment overnight and check on it the next day. What do you observe about the color of the water and vinegar? When we pour out the liquid and look at the rocks, what do you notice? The rock that has been in vinegar is now weak and easy to break. I get clay on my hands because the limestone has been dissolved by the acid, leaving clay behind. The rock that was in water is still strong and does not leave clay on my hands. What causes acid rain? When we burn fossil fuels, they release gases like carbon dioxide that reacts with water to form carbonic acid, sulfur dioxide that forms sulfuric acid, and nitrous oxide that forms nitric acid. All of these acids can cause limestone and marble to dissolve. Thanks for watching this Palms video. For more fun, hands-on science activities, visit the PALMS website at palms.edu.au.